Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, we're going to be covering the different windows and workspaces that exist inside of Premiere Pro. As a standard layout, when you open up Premiere Pro, you have what is called the standard editing layout or workspace here. Uh, in the next episode, I am going to be going over workspaces, but if you want to find that, it is under this little workspace thing with the blue dot in the top right hand corner of the software. You can click on that, pull it down, and find different layouts. And right now, I'm under the editing layout. If we're under the editing layout, you have four different workspaces here. You have your project window found down here in the bottom left hand corner. You have your source window found in the top left hand space. You have your timeline or your sequence found in the bottom right hand corner. And you have your program window in the top right hand corner. The first thing I want to show you is what this little blue outline means right here. That means that that is the space that you are primarily working out of. If you're using shortcuts or hotkeys, they will mostly be functional for the window that has this blue outline around it. If you want to choose a different window, you can move your mouse around and just simply click on these spaces and it will put that blue highlight around it. And now the shortcuts that you are using mostly pertain to that specific window that is selected there. You can quickly access the windows by using shortcuts as well. Rather than using your mouse, you can hold down your shift key and press the numbers one, two, three, and four. If I hit shift one, it jumps to my project window. If I hit shift two, it jumps to my source window. If I hit shift three, it jumps to my timeline window. And if I hit shift four, I jump to my program window. Let's quickly go over the purposes of each individual window. So shift one, I'm gonna to jump to my project window. And to view these windows on a larger scale, you can hover your mouse over that window and you hit the tilde key, which is above the tab key and below the escape key. If I hit the tilde key, that window expands to full screen. If I hit tilde again, it collapses it. If I move over to my timeline and hit tilde, it brings that window full screen. And then if I hit tilde again, it collapses it back down to its normal size. So shift one in my project window, I'm gonna move my mouse over and hit tilde, and this window goes full screen. And the project window is where you import media and you organize media. I've got a previous episode on importing media if you wanna go back and look at that. But if you import any new media, it will drop it into this window and then you can organize it. So if you hit import and you select a folder and you import it, here's all my media that I just imported. Now you can organize it by simply dragging and dropping onto the folder icon in the bottom right hand corner and drops it into a folder. Then you can name the folder. So yeah, so this window, the project window, is where you or is where you import any media and organize it. This also contains things such as video generators. If you, if you generate a color mat or black video or bars and tone, it will place it within this area here. One important thing to know about the project window is if you is that you have all these other tabs here you can access. But your project window specifically, when you double click on a folder and it will open it up in this separate tab here, uh, and it calls it a bin. A bin is also a is is just what Premiere Pro calls a folder. Then if we open up another one, let's open up three to have, let's open up one more bin. So now I have my project window with my main media. This is the top tier of your hierarchy here. And if you click on these individual bins, it opens up these bins containing specific media that I placed there. Now I wanted to show this because when you hit, when you hit shift one, let's go to my timeline window here. Now I'm in my timeline window and I hit shift one, to go to my project window. If I hit shift one again, it'll tab to the next bin. And then if I hit shift one again, it'll jump to the next bin tab. Now you may think that if I keep hitting shift one, it's gonna to jump to these other ones, but it doesn't, and I prefer it this way. It will just jump to the project and the media tabs. So shift one jumps back to my project, shift one, shift one, shift one, shift one. It just toggles through all of those media tabs and doesn't jump to these ones. These ones you just have to open up manually. All right, let's go to shift two, and this is our source monitor. Our source monitor is a window where you get to view clips. It, uh, this is in, This operates pretty much independently of the timeline. And the way you can view a clip is just by, is simply just by double clicking on a clip. So if I want to go down and go to my scene one bin there, I can hit shift one and shift one again, and it jumps to that window. Now I'm using all shortcuts. You can use your mouse as well. You can double click on items to load in the source tab, but if you can also do this, I can arrow down and arrow down and find a clip that I want to use. I especially like my bin tabs in icon view. I'm going to go down here and hit icon view, and I'm going to hit on this little sort icon item here and do it by list view sorting, which is going to organize my footage in order of my list view here. So if I organize by name, now it will organize my clips by name. Now it's in alphanumerical order here. So once again, I can use my arrow keys to begin arrowing through these clips and find a clip that I want. Once I find the clip that I want, I can hit Shift O. Shift O will open up the clip in the source monitor. Or you can just simply go down and double click on a file and it will load it into your source monitor. So now this is a clip viewer up here. So now I can just move through my clip. I can press play by hitting spacebar. I can use my JKL keys. I'll have a future episode on this. J is rewind, K is stop, L is forward. And if I hit LLL, -L -L, it'll fast forward through. And if you hit L multiple times, it'll fast forward through the clip. And I hit K to stop, J to rewind, and it rewinds my clip. So now my 
shortcuts pertain to this source monitor here because I've got that highlighted. So if I hit I for endpoint, it sets an endpoint. If I hit O for out point, it will set an out point. Now I have my in and out point set in my source monitor. If we hit shift three, this will jump to our sequence. This will jump to our sequence or what they call, what Premiere calls a sequence or timeline. So my timeline has a playhead and this, and wherever my playhead is, that's showing the exact frame in my program monitor. So the program monitor shows wherever your playhead is in your timeline. So if I move this around, you'll see it shuttling through the footage. I have my same function in here. I can go J to rewind and hit K to stop and L to forward. And then I can fast forward by hitting LLL several times. And then I can rewind fast by hitting JJJ several times and then hit K to stop. So pretty much all the shortcuts that I use now are going to be functioning within my timeline because I have that space highlighted. And last window here, if I hit shift four, it jumps to my program monitor. The program monitor operates pretty much like the timeline. A lot of these controls are linked. Like if you are setting endpoints and outpoints in your timeline, if you hit I for endpoint, it sets it in both the program window and the monitor. So these two monitors are fairly linked. So that's what that little blue highlight is around each window. Once again, shift one, two, three, and four will jump between those windows and shift one will jump from media tab to media tab. All right, guys, thanks for watching Chin Fat. And in the next episode, I'm going to be going over workspaces.